Hello again, this is Christopher Omasanya with Atlantic Waste and Power System, Inc. or in Nigeria, AWPS Renewable Energy. Today we are doing part two of our video, myths on um, myths about solar. Misconceptions about solar, myths, misconceptions, same general concept. So today, we are going to answer another question that we've been asked. Or we're going to actually phrase it in the form of a statement. We've seen three kilowatts in panels attached to a 20 amp charge controller. So let me rephrase that. Three kilowatts in panels and they're using a 20 amp charge controller to charge the batteries. So I'm going to read exactly what I wrote. I'm on Ireland so that you have an idea as to what, you know, how to, how to address this issue. So one, uh, first thing I'll tell you is, if you see that, hire a professional. The person you have working for you has no clue and they're going by guesswork. I'm going to put on my glasses so I can see what I'm about to read to you. So how do we determine the size of the controller and the time it takes to charge your batteries? Well, so question number, answer number one, how do you size the controllers to match your PV or your array or your panels? So if you have three, three kilowatts, how do you size the controller? Well, first things is you have to have the size of the PV first. Um, there's a formula and the formula is very simple. It is determined by the voltage of your system. So if you have a 12, 24 or 48 volt, um, that has a bearing on the size of your controller and how long it takes to charge your battery. So let's start with the, let's start with a simple one, a battery. We've seen uh, customers who've had 20 amp charge controllers installed and they're trying to charge 600 amp hour battery banks. And initially when we started doing this, we did the exact same thing. We bought a 10 amp uh, charge controller and tried to use to charge uh, 200 amp hours in batteries. And that was a disaster. We wound up having to replace the batteries so the formula is very easy. So let's look at the customer who has a 20 amp charge controller, 600 amp hour battery. So the formula is this. 600, which is your, your battery capacity, divided by 20, which is the size of the charge controller. So that's 30 hours. So a 20 amp charge controller will take 30 hours, which is more than one day, to charge a fully depleted 600 amp hour battery bank. So the assumption is that there is no load, which means the inverter is not connected to it. Um, nothing is connected to your system, just you charging the batteries. It also makes another assumption that you're going to get full sunshine during that 30 hour period. And you know that's impossible. So now you know, 20 amp, uh, 20 amp charge controller will not effectively charge your batteries. Now, there's a caveat to that. There are people who have cabins that they use once a month, once every two weeks. That would work. But you're not going to put a huge uh, amount of panels in there. They need a trickle charger. Uh, they use it on the weekend. They come back. They go. By the time they come back again, the batteries are full. How do you match the appropriate controller, appropriate controller to the panel capacity you have installed? Well, so let's do the formula again. So watts divided by volts equals to amps. So W divided by V, watts divided by volt. And there's a different formula they use, but let me, let's make it easy. Watts divided by volts equals equal amps. So if we have 3,000 watts in panels, and our system is a 24-volt system like what we have back here, then it's 3,000 divided by 24. And the result is 125 amps. So you need a charge controller that can manage 125 amps. Today on the market there is no 125 amp charge controller. So what you would do is 180 amp charge controller and a 60 amp controller. But if you factor in for losses then you could do two 60 amp charge controllers. Okay, so hopefully this is um, this has enlightened you a bit and um, this is definitely a shorter video than last time. So visit us at www.awpsrenewable.com renewables.com for more information.